Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Millie and I'm very excited because today I'm going to decorate my hot cocoa bar. I think it's going to look really cute. I hope you like it. But first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you like this type of content. I upload new videos every week. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is everything I have for the decor. Most of them are from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to look close up so you can see it well. I have some jars. Those ones are from the thrift store. The signs from Hobby Lobby, the mugs too. Naked things. And this is the tear tray I'm going to use. I got this. This is from Wafer. I don't know if it's still available. I think Home Depot has it too. I'll look it up so I can link it down below if you want to check it out. So yeah, I love it. I love the color. It's going to look very cute. I'm going to put it on my kitchen. So I'll start now. First, I'll start filling all the containers. I started with the cocoa powder but I didn't realize it wasn't enough for the jar and it ended up being half full but that's okay then you're going to see when I started decorating the tear tray I put this jar in the back so it can be hidden and yeah I continue to put the sweet treats in the containers this one I got it at Goodwill it's an empty candy glass tree really cute so I'll continue with the others too And now starting decorating the tea tray for this level I'm adding this cute Santa mug with some candy canes on top and then the glass tree with the candy looks really cute you're going to see also the jar with the cocoa powder in the back This cute sign is from Hobby Lobby, I think it looks good there and for this level I think it's okay, maybe I'll do some changes but looks good and then for the next level I'm going to add this glass mug that I got I think at Dollar Tree along with this adorable mug that I got at Target last year, so pretty. Then I added these adorable tiny Santa mugs from Hobby Lobby. They are new for this year and they are so cute. 
I put one on top of the other because one is a little cheap. I didn't notice. They were fine in the store, but I think when I got home something happened. But the other really, really cute. So you can see here and make it so adorable. Then on top I add this sign from Hobby Lobby 2, it's really cute, but it needed some height. So I look for something to use as a riser, I found these <laughs> playing cards and I put this on top and it looks much better. For this area I was going to leave the sign here, this hot cocoa sign, but then I decided to hang it, it looks much better. Then here on top I put the glass jars, this vintage planters peanuts jar that I got at Goodwill, they're so cute. And then this vintage Christmas cookbook, also from the thrift store, I love the cover, I think it looks we're good there. And then the sugar cookies. Kitchen towel from Hearth and Hand. And I had to use this beautiful mug from Hobby Lobby. I love it, I got it just recently. I think it's the perfect addition for a hot cocoa bar. And here is the final result. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. If you like to decorate your home with a hot cocoa bar too, what other things would you like to add? Please let me know. Okay, this is everything I wanted to show you. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. More Christmas videos are coming. The Christmas at the Silos event is starting now at Magnolia and I'm going to go and film all of it as always. I'm going to show it to you. That video is coming very soon. So yes, don't forget to subscribe and click in the red bell notification so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.